And we've over-examined our lives at this point. You ask anybody the innocent question, how are you? I'm six days off sugar, thank you for asking. I'm getting closure on my toxic relationship. I'm healing from my unresolved childhood issues. And... Great, welcome to Walmart, was what I was gonna say, but. That was good, and that was Colin Quinn. He's here, he'll be making me smile moments from now. Honestly, he's there, see? There yes. All right, joining us now from Chicago, before we get this ball rolling on the market, let's wait, Colin Quinn is here. Colin, I'm, look, I'm, I'm mad about this. The <sighs> idea that you should walk away from DC jobs in a poverty-stricken neighborhood, I don't think there's anything to smile about. Can you make me smile on this one? Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, so wait a minute, who are we mad at? Are we mad at the lawmakers or are we mad at Walmart? The, the lawmakers. Right. They're turning down jobs for right. impoverished people. They say, no, 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 unless you pay 12 bucks an hour, we're not going to have you in our town. Right. It's ridiculous. In D.C., which has a brutal poverty rate. Yes. Except for one little slice of it. Nothing, smi nothing to smile about on this one? No. Well, you know, smiling at the abject poverty of the people of Northeast D.C. <laughs> As I want to start Can you make off. A, come on, you've got to crack a smile. The Dow's up 150 points. I would crack a smile if I understood the Dow. The reason I'm on the show is I want you to tell me how to get rich. I've been in this business for a thousand years and I'm not rich. I should be ri I should be one of the richest people Who around. Who manages your money? I have a good business manager, but I'm afraid to deal with stock. You know what I mean? I don't know what goes on with this whole thing and I, I don't trust it. You know what I mean? Plus, it's up so high. Even when you were saying that, I was like, isn't that what people always say right before the fall? All right, Colin, you better tune in in the 10 o'clock hour because we've got Charles Payne, who is an expert at making money for all kinds of people. Really? You included, Mr. Quinn. I, I could be part of the crew. Yeah, if you're not careful. Part of the dream. Yeah, yeah. Well, sit there for a half hour and learn something. Okay. <laughs> Stocks are rallying. Yeah, they, well, look at this. 162 up now. Uh, that's because the Fed says we're going to print more. Well, no, it isn't. You can find something. Can you make me smile about that? Well, first of all, why is Scott? Can we talk about Scott's jacket? <laughs> what, what is the purpose of that? He trades to antagonize. No, he trades cattle. Okay? <laughs> He's a cow futures guy, so he wears a cow jacket. Okay? That's it's very good. That's even more horrible than I thought the explanation was going to be. <laughs> you should trust your money to him. He makes real money, this guy. He's very good, I tell you. <laughs> No, so because 107 billion. You can't make me laugh about that. <laughs> Just kidding. now you're laughing. You're going, what about back to shrimp on a treadmill? That's the, uh, it's unbelievable. <laughs> so it's 107 billion dollars just missing right now. Yes. In Washington D.C. Overpayments. They could probably pay for the extra Walmart employees with that money. Yes, they could that's, indeed. That's probably where the money is right now. It's in figuring out. The research, com the fact-finding committee that decided Walmart wasn't paying enough was used. That's where the 107 billion went. You're off to a very good start, Carl. Yes. You know, yes. You, I've got a smile on my face. The Dow is up 150 points. I got a smile on my don't face. Don't trust that Dow. I'm trying to warn you about that. Don't trust that Dow. Oh, I still don't understand. How can rumors? How can one rumor affect the entire tangible economy? It's just insane to me. Do you it know does. what I mean? It does. Language, rumor. It's crazy, right? Well, you keep your money under your mattress, then. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> With a baseball bat next to my bed. All right, Nicole, come on in. The Dow. Winners on the Dow, please. The big ones. Yeah. Holy, you've got something funny to say about Elliot Spitzer. About the big cases? Well, first of all, they're voting for anybody who's in name. But second of all, let's face it. Are we really out? Were we outraged even when it happened? I wasn't. You were not? No. The governor of New York consorts with prostitutes. Right. And walks away from the governorship. I have that. Well, I don't think he walked away. Didn't he have to leave because of, because of that? <laughs> I mean, the, I think the worst part was that I think the prostitute he consorted with was from New Jersey. And I think that's really the issue <laughs> that nobody wants to talk about. I live in New Jersey. No, but I'm just saying it's disloyal. He's in New York. He's supposed to do business with New York. You think he'd go down in the polls as soon as we find out that the prostitute was from New Jersey? Yeah, it's supposed to be in New York. You keep business here. That's very good, Colin. <laughs> Spur of the moment, so that was really, really good. Stay there, please. A lot more yes. coming your way, son. Check the big board. Still a nice rally. Up 140 cent it is. Yes. You uh, find anything funny about Medicare, uh, Obamacare? Well, like I said, uh, you know, I, I've always felt the problem in our country is not full medical, it's full dental. I've traveled many times. <laughs> You're telling that to an Englishman. <laughs> to an English they traditionally have that I realize you out. guys are well known for your <laughs> lack of dental care. You're trying to be funny about at my no, expense. No, no, no. <laughs> this show is called Varney and Company. You're, you're right. killing me here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever make jokes about Obamacare? Does that when you're on your material, do you use it? Not about Obamacare, because you know, talking about like policy in particular can be a little boring. But I mean, I have, jo I have jokes about Obama. I have jokes about you know. You I have my whole sh my whole show is about the Constitution. 
So it's uh, the show I'm doing is called Unconstitutional. Yeah. And uh, so it has a lot of stuff about mostly more about political correctness and stuff, more about media perception than specific things like, you know, an actual policy. Because it's, do, do, it's do you depressing. take an, an ideological position? If, you, if your show is, your current show is about the Constitution. Right. Do you take a position? I mean, do you say, I mean, look what that guy is doing to the Constitution? He's ideological. In it, I mean, it's hard to call it. It's hard to call what I do ideological because comedy, stand-up comedy. In my opinion of stand-up comedy is if you don't hit everything and think it's all, you know, look at it all like with a cynical eye, then you know you can't really anybody that's extreme left or extreme right. You know, it's hard for them to be really funny, in my sure. opinion. Yeah. You know, even though a lot of people are very extreme left. Yeah. But, I mean, it's just, you know, it comes off preachy, in my opinion. You know? Yeah, you're right. So I like it to be more like everybody's complicit of whatever it is. But not to let anybody, you know. Yeah, there's a lot of slanted comedy, and I, you know. You don't do that. No. Just make me laugh. I was yeah. About the British teeth. That was funny. <laughs> in a funny sort of I wasn't way. trying to attack the British. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're, right, it ended you're up. Irish by descent, you've got great teeth. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? Yeah. Hey, Colin, thank you very much for being with us. Thanks, Stuart. Pleasure. Brightening up a day when the Dow is going straight up. I we know. Love but love I feel like you got, I am Irish. I feel like there's a jinx in it. You keep saying how great it's going up. I'm like, hey, quit saying No, that. we don't jinx the rally. We you don't know what do I mean? That. All right, thanks, Colin. Thanks. Uh,